Welcome, my little marshmallows. It's your host with the news for this nuclear sunrise. When you are going out, be sure to pack all you need to ensure that you do not lose a limb and grow one where it shouldn't be. There is a sale going on for your local caravan with 25% off all prices. Now, my little marshmallows, let's see what's the traffic like. Oh no, it appears there's a Brahma pileup on the outskirts of Arlington. Steer clear if you're in the Arlington area. There's raiders out in the waste, so have your weapons ready and plenty of ammo, because raiders have no moral compass, my friends. And chances are, you won't be able to talk your way out of this one. Remember, my little marshmallows, ghouls are humans too, who have been affected severely by the radiation and survived it all, and don't need ignorant words. So leave your judgment behind and don't shoot unless you are being attacked. Feral ghouls, on the other hand, have succumbed to the animalistic insanity and cannot be reasoned with, so aim straight for the head if you encounter a feral, and make sure you have plenty of right away as some ferals go glow with radiation. We now bring you to the vault check where we tell you what's going on with those vault dwellers. Vault 3 in the Mojave Wasteland was said to be open but remained closed and now a group of raiders, calling themselves fiends, went in and took every last one of them out. So if you're in the Mojave anytime soon and stumble upon Vault 3, tread carefully as there may be some raiders still lurking him out. Vault 106 is known to have had radioactive drugs. I'm sorry, there was a little typo in this little thing from my source. I meant psychoactive drugs have been pumped through the air system, and those who, who inhabited the vault went insane and known soon after that perished. Why would the overseer allow such a fate? My sources are uncertain, but there may or may not still be those psychoactive drugs in the vault. So if you cherish your sanity, stay out of Vault 106 if you know what is best for you. Now on to Vault 112, aka Tranquility Lane. It was created in the mindset of a virtual utopia where everything was good. No crime and all that. Sounds good, doesn't it? But after that, the one who created it somehow snapped and is now killing the residents and bringing back their mental state just to do it over and over again. What a sick menace. That is it for the vault check. Now on to the information about the creatures lurking in the wastelands. Death claws are basically overgrown lizards and are relentless when it comes to attacking. So if you fight them, you should have enough in your arsenal to defeat those reptil reptilians or become their next meal. Yagoi are friendly towards their own and blip fires. But anything else they feel threatened, so just sneak away from them and do not feed them. These are wild creatures after all, and none of which should be domesticated. So I repeat, do not interact with the Yagwai. The odds of you getting out alive will be very slim. And now for some music, but before I break to the music, I'd like to thank you for listening to Wasteland Paradise Radio, aka WPR where we are your light in the radioactive darkness. Stay safe, my little marshmallows, and have a wonderful day. Just keep on sending all of those good vibrations.